Hey guys, Doomer Days here. Hey, today uh, I just wanted to bring you uh, this tool I found called Route Color Changer here on SCS Forums. And uh, today I'm going to show you uh, basically how I've used it. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is on the page, so this link will be in the description. And you can scroll down and you can see this little tool here that you can change all of your route, navigation, undiscovered, discovered, uh, route outlines, and advisor color, and all of that. So it's all right here in front of you with this little tool. So, uh, and there's also this other little tool that I haven't changed, uh, or tried, sorry, uh, called SSL. Uh, it's an SSL location. I don't know, you know, I haven't played with it, but, you know, that's another little tool that's on this, right up underneath this one. Uh, you, it looks like you could do screenshots with it, depending on where you are in the location in the world, I suppose. But anyway, that's not what this is about, but you could look into that if you wish to use it. I haven't, so test that at your own discretion. Uh, but you can come down a little ways and you can see how this tool is used. Uh, you can see, you know, different colors. You, if you want to make it like Google Maps, you can. Um, there it is as a picture that this is configured with, um, you know, and so on. And, you know, a few other helpful things along the way. Uh, you can read through it if you like, uh, but for now, uh, we're going to go ahead and minimize this page here, and uh, but like I said, this link will be in the description. And also, if you want, you I have another page here that will be in the description if anyone is interested called the SCS Color Converter. Uh, you can put in a color here and convert it to hex, or you can put in and use RGB values like, say, um, uh, 25 or 35, 56, uh, 200, and then convert it to an F, uh, to an FBS value, and you can get, you know, whatever colors, you know, you can do them here, however you want. Uh, pretty helpful tool if you need it. Uh, that also be linked in the description. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so what, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and minimize this. And I'm going to show you this colors over here is what I have in game right now, at least as far as I know. Because um, I just set this one up again. And you'll see that I have the map background open by Bingham J. This one I upscaled. It's not a released background map, uh, and it probably won't be. It's only for personal use, really. Uh, but if you are using the ATS background uh, map by Bingham J, there's no difference in mine versus yours, except that I upscaled the map. That's all. That's the only difference. So don't even pay no attention to that. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into def and under map data, as you can see, uh, Bingham J, uh, if you haven't looked into this, you can see that everything is broken down, okay, into groups, so to speak. Up here, I have the uh, route color changer and I have the, the program and then I have my route color changer saved. So when I load this up, it loads these colors that I've configured into here by hitting load button and then selecting my route color changer. And you can save that out. You can also save it as a mod and you can also save it as map data. Do keep in mind though, if you save this out, you can save it into a folder and then you could, you know, view it, look at it or whatever you wish to do. You can also create a mod. You can see that I created a mod right here called uh, navigation route color change but keep in mind that whenever you do do this and you spit it out as a mod it's going to put the map data kind of like the default of SCS's map data so do keep that in mind that when you do that you don't want to overwrite something okay so just keep in mind that you know use that at your own discretion but the easiest way to do this is to Go, I went over to uh, ProMods website and you can see the file here, ProMods ATS Def. 
And what I did is I used it to spit out the colors. Okay, that's all I did. I already had the Pro Mods Canada anyway. So what I did is I just used it to change colors just to get a base. So that way I can use this. And then you can also load uh, map data or you can load it by a mod. So I loaded this mod into here and got the colors that I chose from the definition, if that makes sense. Sorry if I'm not explaining this exactly correctly, but I'm trying to do my best here. So give me a break. <laughs> anyway, uh, so what I did is I took the ProMods definition map data. And if you open this file up, you'll see that the map data is right here. Okay. Now, if you open this map data, you will see that this map data has everything in it. Okay. But all we're interested in is just this part of it. That's it. That's all you're interested in. Do not change or use anything below this this place here because if you do, you're going to overwrite your um, you're going to overwrite your your background if you're using a, a certain background or a certain map data or anything like that. You would overwrite it, but just to change the colors. This is all you need right here. Just this part of it. Okay. So do keep that in mind. So when you come over here to, uh, you're looking in the, uh, def under map data in your, uh, if you're using Bingham J's ATS map for ATS, then you'll see that all this is broken down. Basically all of this is basically this entire file broken down, so to speak. Okay. So if you come over here and you look at, the map color config file is what you're wanting to change. Okay. So you look over here. This file is this right here. Just the color. You don't see anything else there. Okay. So this is what we're going to change. So if you look over here, you'll see the colors that I've changed. There's, um, uh, you'll see, um, how this works. So basically what we're going to do is we are going to uh, go back over here. We're, we're going to close out this now. We don't need that. And we're going to close out this one. We don't need that. So, <coughs> excuse me. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, uh, come over here and we're going to load our preset that I created. Okay. We're going to open it. Now you'll see, <coughs> excuse me, mm. I drank a water. Um, you'll see, here's the colors, and you'll look up here, here's the colors. There's CC, there's this one, there's the gray. You'll see all the colors in there by the hexadecimal values. And that's pretty much really it. And when you select these, if you select any of these colors, all, it pops up a color wheel for you to change it and you can put it in any color you want and that's at your own discretion when you hit OK it's going to give you the hex value in here and then all you do is just type in the hex value that you see up here the full thing like if you see 0xff that's always at the beginning of every color if you see it okay so all you're wanting to do is replace 0xff right here with 99ccc and you'll see that that's the adv uh, your advisor map undiscovered route so that's what the undiscovered route so basically you're seeing all the colors that you can change at any given moment. So let's say I want to change, uh, I don't know, let's change the job market undiscovered. There you go. It's, it's, you can just change that. You can change any color you want by selecting it. Uh, you can also do these as transparent. I have not tested that side of it. So just be weary. If you make something transparent, you may or may not be able to see it in its full potential so you know you could use that if you don't want something that is brighter than something else you can also transparent you know put it transparent and you know it'll still be there but it just won't be as visible if that makes sense i guess so basically once you once you got all of this done then when you spit out when you spit out your uh file to save the uh the map data per se 
then when you save this file right here let's just say let's just say we save it as map data underscore uh, I don't know test or something okay now it's it's in here so we're gonna save it and then when we come over to our uh, where where we at here let me see we're gonna come over here and there's map data test okay now if you look at map data test it's gonna spit out the entire map data file for you this map data down in here or sorry this map data everything that is below here is already in your configuration here for your ATS uh, background by Bingham J so make sure you don't use any of these values like I said the only thing that we're wondering about you can actually delete all of that and you don't even need it all you're worried about is the colors that's it simple as that not that hard guys and then you take all of these colors basically and you highlight everything and then hit control C to copy everything and then come over here to your file under your configuration file that is this file right here and then copy them in pretty simple and then you like I said you can do a save and you can keep your settings or however many settings you want you know you can have different colors for different scenarios if that's what you want and you can say route color preset settings one two three four whatever and you have different color settings that you choose if you get tired of one you have another one and so on <laughs> pretty simple uh, it's not that hard uh, I'm not gonna save it because I already have so it's a pretty cool little tool I think uh, it makes it a little bit easier to change your colors um, I don't know what else to say about it other than the fact that if you look in the map data you'll see that it says 137 um, like I said it hasn't it looks like it hasn't been updated you know since May 29th of, of 2020 but it seems to still work because I've dr I've done it with different colors. I've tried it, tested it, played around with it. It just makes things a whole lot easier for you to do it. So with any any anyway, guys, uh, I'm sorry it's a little bit long video uh, on this, but hopefully you know uh, you can find it useful. And like I said, the links will be in the description. Uh, once you play around with it, you'll figure it out. Uh, if you have any questions or you need help on something, let me know down in the comments. I'll be glad to help you out. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, but if, but uh, just on a side note, uh, if you do create a mod from it, it will create the mod just like you see here. Uh, we'll just we'll just say route color changer that I have it fold uh, under, and we'll call it ma uh, this one as it spits out. This is the name it spits out. And then you hit save and then boom there's your mod and then you go into the uh you'll see right there is the mod see it just created this mod right here we'll open it and then this is the stuff that it gives you it creates the manifest file for you it also creates the mod pick for you and it also creates a description if you want to put more in there you can um and then under definition it gives you the map data this map data you should not use because it's going to be the default I believe by the game itself so just keep keep that in mind uh, if you do use this but if you are using this by default and you want to use the entire map data you can only if you probably are using just the base ATS SCS of the base game as well as DLCs or whatever you might have but if you're not using a custom background or any custom map data like like you are uh, if you are using the uh, uh, sat background by Bingham J or any other map background that you choose uh, you want to keep that in mind but uh, that way you don't overwrite your zoom and your you know your camera limits and all of that because you will see that that's totally different in Bingham J's uh, background than it is here 
So do keep that in mind. The only thing you're really probably mostly going to be interested in, like I said, is just the colors right here. That's all you're going to be interested in. Um, I really don't know of anything else to to uh, to show you about it. Um, let's see. Uh, like I said, the links will be in the description uh, if you want to try it out, play around with it. Uh, if you need any help, let me know. I, you know, I'll be glad to help you out. Uh, but anyway, enjoy the little tool um, and uh, whatever makes you happy. And uh, have a great day or the rest of your evening or morning or whatever day it is for you and around the world. And anyway, Doomer Days is out. Peace.